Friend, thoughts on male pattern baldness? I've been waiting for someone to ask me this. Oh, I would love to have a conversation with someone else who knows a lot about gorillas. Oh my god, it's so squishy. Sleeping sap just hit 25k. 25k. Hey, hey, you. You're so far away. Hey, how's the weather up there? <laughs> you guys, this is so exciting and um, kind of a crazy, it's just craziness right now. So I'm trying to like relax and get into ASMR mode, but I wanted to film a Q&A and do a mukbang like outside picnic style. Um, the background doesn't look as cute I had, as I had envisioned. some sushi. I wasn't that hungry, so I couldn't order that much because it would have been pointless. Um, but it would have been cool if I just grubbed out right now, but that's okay because we don't have a lot of time anyways. I got these um, bao buns. Look how freaking cute they are. They're pigs. They're um, pulled pork, I think. The eyes are a little f***ed up, but that's okay. So I got that. And these are little bunnies. This is Nutella. I love Nutella. I love sweets. Always had to get dessert. Um, and then I got sushi. I got a cruncher roll. I know. I'm basic. Sorry. I don't really like raw fish. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, okay. So yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> okay, you guys, before we start, let's do an outfit of the day. I have got this. Uh, it looks like a skirt, but it's a uh, pair of shorts. And I just have this top. And then the most exciting part, I'm wearing my cowboy boots that I got from Mexico and lay on. My knee, I'm so white that every time I like go on my knees, they turn red. I'm so sorry if there's noise, you guys. I'm sorry if I talk a little bit louder today. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Because what's the point?
start crunching. safe this time. I'm going to start with the questions that I got on my Patreon. Okay, so what is your favorite triggers to create and why? Um, to create, I like role plays. I think they're really fun. I honestly didn't really realize how much of a talent before we start. Um, I am trying to um, push myself out of my comfort zone and try new things. And so I think like a few weeks ago, dang, time flies, I went to my first improv class. I thought it'd be really fun just to like get myself out of my comfort zone. And also I thought it might be like helpful for my role plays. <laughs> Would you see yourself posting content that isn't ASMR? Yeah, I would love to. Day in life? Absolutely. Um, I'm actually thinking about starting a second channel that's gonna be for um, like self-improvement videos because I am obsessed with self-improvement, which I recently just learned is also a flaw and a trauma response. Um, but I love self-improvement and so I was thinking I'm gonna start a channel sessions just talking about things that I've learned or that I'm currently working on and maybe videos of like challenges like my first 
first uh, few video ideas would be like uh, book reviews, books that have really helped me along my self-improvement and spiritual journey. Uh, also, um, the first video that I want to do is uh, I, I try breath work for 21 days, and so I'm gonna try, I've been doing breath work, but only for a couple days, so I'm just gonna start filming now um, and see how that changes my life. And then I also want to do um, walking 10,000 steps every day for 30 days, uh, just like videos like that, because that's the things that I enjoy watching ASMR and like self-improvement videos. Um, so I think that would be like perfect for me and I would really enjoy it. And I'm going to do it regardless, might as well just film it. Have you been noticed in public by subscribers? No, I haven't. Um, but honestly, I've been trying to like look decent everywhere I go just in case just in case one of the 25,000 of you uh, run into me and if you do see me I highly doubt it but eventually at one point if someone does see me please like don't scare me because <laughs> I might knock you out <laughs> um, but I have been paranoid about being followed I'm gonna be honest um, I have had a stalker in the past and I'm traumatized but I highly doubt that would happen um, but no I have not been noticed um, my favorite video that I've filmed so far, uh, probably my spit paint video. That one is hilarious in my opinion. <laughs> Top five places that you've traveled. Five places, dang, I don't know if I've been to that many. Uh, one, Japan, of course. mixture of Polish, Swedish, and just, I'm just white, half white, and half Japanese. <laughs> um, Drake or Kendrick? Oh, that one is hard. I know there's beef, and all beef aside, Kendrick is just, I saw Kendrick at Coachella, and I feel so lucky, because that's when his, um, album came out. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot what the album was called, but the album, the best album, um, Element is my favorite song from that album. Um, but I listen to Drake more, so I would say Drake. What is your favorite food? Japanese curry. Hands down. Let me take a bite of this. It's definitely cold by now. Are you guys having fun? Please comment um, a big emoji if you're enjoying this, if you're having fun. I hope everyone's having fun. I'm having fun. I feel kind of rushed. Let me just... Eat this pig. Oh my god, it's so squishy. Mm -hmm. Scrumptious. I'm not like 
giving any of you guys the ick. What's my favorite dessert? <sighs> that would be so hard because I love dessert. If I could just eat dessert all the time instead of food, I would totally do that. Um, I would have to say ice cream. Uh, any type of ice cream or brownie or cookie or pastry or cake. Oh my god, I don't know. Um, one thing I do know is that I don't really like um, tart things, fruity things. I'm more of chocolate, the heavy stuff. <laughs> um, but I would say ice cream. This is a vibe, am I right? It's like we're on a picnic. Um, what was the best part about being a cheerleader? I was a cheerleader from when I was like 10 to 14 or 15. I did two years of pop Warner for um, like football. And then I did competitive cheerleading for two years. Um, I loved it. Cheerleading, the best part was hanging out with my friends and like flirting with the football boys. I had a new boyfriend like every week. Um, that was fun. Boyfriend literally would date for a few days and break up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> about competitive cheer. Um, I think it really helped me um, while I was grieving because I started it after my dad died. Also, I stopped cheerleading like once I got in high school and that's when my life kind of fell apart. Um, so cheerleading kind of helped me through that by keeping me really freaking busy. I was at practice all the time. Um, and I was so obsessed with tumbling and, um, so it really helped keep my mind off of it. But cheerleading, competitive cheerleading is a sport. It's a sport. One of the hardest sports that I've played and I've played a lot of sports. My favorite subject in school, um, I hated school, especially high school. Um, but when I got into college, um, psychology was always my favorite. Um, but unfortunately, I think I was in a major that was completely wrong for me. I graduated um, with a Bachelor's of Science in Public Health. Um, also, all throughout high school, I was severely depressed, um, struggling with an eating disorder, um, <clears throat> and had undiagnosed ADHD, so I barely made it alive. Um, so. In high school, I hated every subject. <laughs> I hated being there. If I could go back in time, I would either go to school for film. No, film. I was stuck between majoring in film and I wish I did it. Don't listen to your parents, you guys. <laughs> or don't let your parents tell you what to do. You know yourself better than them, so make your own decisions. Um, will you make a purse tapping and scratching video? Yes, I will. My best friend, Theodora. Teddy. Why did I call her Theodore? Teddy. <laughs> she got me this really, really, really cool purse by this um, designer. It's this really, really cool purse. It's made out of denim. Like, she made it out of jeans. And it has just a bunch of uh, charms and stuff. It's really cool. I'm definitely going to be making a video with that. What's your favorite food to eat after a hangover? Big, fat, juicy burger. Anything fried. Just anything that I will regret. <laughs> Age. Um, I just turned 26 on April 3rd. And I can confidently say that 26 has been the best age so far. I know it's only been two months. But I have never felt so confident. So sexy, so alive, and hopeful for the future. I think I've learned a lot of lessons in my early 20s, um, and I'm finally not depressed anymore, so that's really cool. And I finally got the courage to um, start this channel and like follow my dreams and my passions. And so, 26 has been awesome so far. Um, I feel like I look my best. I feel like my face kind of matured a little bit, but I don't feel like I look old, but I don't know, maybe I do. Um, but yeah, I feel good. I love 26. I love being 26. Um, and I've always known that I would probably thrive, like, my late 20s. 
early 30s just because I struggled and suffered so much when I was younger. Um, so life has to get better from here on out. <laughs> Favorite movie? That is really hard. Uh, but either Spirited Away or Titanic. I know Titanic seems very cliche, but I love that movie so much. Um, because I've always wanted to end up with someone like Jack. Just someone carefree and free-spirited. You know, doesn't care about money and stuff like that. I think that's really cool. Do you believe in magic? Yeah, I do. Oh my god, I'm getting paranoid. <laughs> um, yes, I do believe in magic. What made you want to start ASMR? Um, like I said, I have been really depressed in the past. And when I first found ASMR, I was literally at my lowest. I was 14, I think, and I was just going through my first depressive episode, and I didn't leave my house for the entire summer, and I just stayed home for three months, laying in bed, sleeping, watching ASMR, and, um, yeah, I was down bad. I wish I could go back in time and give that girl a big hug and just show her this moment right now. How cool. Um, but yeah, ASMR saved me. And so I want to start ASMR because one, I feel like I'm good at it because I've been watching it for so long. Um, and I know what gives me tingles and I've seen a lot of videos. Um, also, I am convinced that it is- imagine I just got shit on by a bird. <sighs> clickbait, not clickbait, just got shit on by a bird, 25k Q&A, um, <laughs> can this bird shit the Maybe he's trying to ask me a question. What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, why am I starting this part? Oh, because and I'm convinced it's my calling to share my story. I've just been through so much and it has to have been for a reason. And I feel like ASMR is a perfect way to See, I'm doing it. I'm stuffing my face because I just want to like get it over and talk to you guys. And I feel like ASMR is like a perfect way to share my story and like <clears throat> help give others the comfort that like I know that I needed when um, I was down bad. Uh, and so yeah, that's why. If you weren't um, the best ASMR artist, what would you be doing right now? Um, so, starting this ASMR channel was, like, a big thing for me because my whole adult years, teenage years, um, my mom kind of installed in me that I was going to be a nurse, um, and so because I was struggling so bad mentally, I really had no capacity in my brain to think about anything besides surviving the day, um, so she told me I was going to be a nurse, I was like, okay, I mean, I guess my heart was um, but then throughout college, I was a major in public health, and the whole point was, like, to start as public health because I didn't have the grades to get into nursing school right away, and then I was going to use those, um, classes that I took to transfer over to, like, a nursing program. That never ended up happening because I was still struggling all throughout college. Um, but then afterwards, I became a CNA to, like, scope out the scene and, like, see, uh, if I liked it. I'm going to make a whole nother video yapping about being a CNA. That's a whole nother story. Basically, I was just in nursing school. Um, I was going to start. I was enrolled. I was going to. And then um, I decided, yeah, no, I'd rather not. I finally admitted to myself that 
I was only doing it because my mom told me to. Um, and I never wanted to be a nurse. Yeah, that's a whole other story, but I probably would have been suffering in nursing school right now, doing something that's completely the opposite of, like, my purpose and my passions. How do you plan out your day? Um, I'm gonna be honest, that's something I'm really working on, because at this point, I'm just kind of winging it constantly. Not constantly, but I use my notes app a lot, um, and I usually plan my day the night before. I just kind of like visualize what's going to go through um and then usually on Sundays I kind of like plan out the whole week um but that's something we're definitely working on it's an ADHD thing ADHD thing for sure I've been really like genuinely that's something that I'm actively working on I've been watching a lot of videos um and so far what's been working for me is just taking it like one week at a time and just like looking at the month like very vaguely and generally um, but I just kind of have goals that I need to do for the week, um, and like specific days where I can do anything because I work twice a week, 12 hour shifts. But yeah, that's something I'm working on at this point. Notes app, night before, and in the morning I write in my journal what I'm going to do. If you have $200 million, what would you spend and invest it on? Um, $200 million. Oh, I am... This is hard because I don't know how, like, insurance works in, like, state hospitals. But I'm a float pool, so I work all over the hospital, two different hospitals, a bunch of different units. So I've been on all the units. But I'm in the psych ward pretty often, the Beaver Health Unit. Um, and it breaks my heart. The first time that I stepped foot in there, I was like, there's no way. There is no way that this is supposed to be for people who are in a mental health crisis like i've spent 12 hours one-on-one -on -one with the patients who have been in the psych unit for years months and have gone through things that are extremely tra tragic and are very mentally ill i've basically been i spend the entire day with them 12 hours and sometimes i'd be there like two shifts in a row with the same person um so i've spent a lot of time in the psych unit and it is an awful place to be. It's not a place for healing. I mean, I'm I'm sure like uh, if you have more money, uh, you can get more um, better quality care. But if you just have a medical, um, or just basic state government insurance, um, yeah, it's awful. And so I've always said, one day, if I do get a large large sum of money i am definitely trying to do everything i can to make behavioral health units better at least redesign it put up some artwork that's not so cringy and be happy you are not alone like it's concrete in there there's no windows there's the outside there's nothing to do it's awful in there it's awful and so if you've ever been in there I understand. I have not been a patient there, but I have spent one-on-one -on -one time days on end with patients who are in there. And I've been there. I know what it's like. I know how the doctors treat the patients. Like, I understand. So I'm sorry. Um, but I do understand that they make it not so comfortable so that people don't want to stay there, which I understand. Um, but that's really the only thing that I've ever really had. Like, for is to improve the mental health uh, system in America. Um, do you have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. We've been dating for almost two years and he's a sweetheart. Um, I'm very lucky to have someone who supports my channel and is not jealous. He's not insecure. Like, he never bothers me. Like, you know, he doesn't really go through my phone. Like, when he sees comments and stuff, um, it doesn't bother him, which I'm so grateful for because I've been in a relationship in the past with someone who was very insecure and jealous. Um, and it's a hard life. And so he's someone that is kind of like my partner, like just is there for me, but is not really all up in my business. And that's perfect. That's exactly a partner that I want, you know, like solid. I trust him. I know that he's all about me. He's kind. He's genuine. He's a sweet soul. I don't have to worry about him, like being mean to other people you know he's a good person 
he's trustworthy, he's honest, and he supports me. Um, so yeah, he's great. <clears throat> What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Um, probably be poured into my family. <laughs> I love my mom, and I loved my dad. Um, sadly, he passed away, but um, I feel very grateful that I was born into such a great family. What motivates you generally? Um, just to be the best version of myself and to honestly prove myself wrong. Not so much like people always say prove everyone else wrong. No, like I want to prove myself wrong, all my doubts. Like I want to tell myself like I did a bitch. You thought. Um, so that's kind of what motivates me. I just want to be the best. I want to reach my full potential. Do ASMR to help others sleep and relax. And I just want you guys to know that you're not you are loved and yeah and that life is good even sometimes when it doesn't feel like it so yeah is there anyone you would like to collaborate with an asmr video um i haven't really watched a lot of her videos but i did notice uh, what was her name? what's her name creative calm creative calm i watched a few of her videos and her role plays are hilarious and honestly they remind me she reminds me of me like at least her style and her roleplay style um and i think that'd be a really iconic collab in my opinion so creative calm have you ever been to other countries i've only ever been to guanajuato mexico and um japan oh and guam top three albums anti by rihanna Divine Feminine, Mac Miller. Fuck, I know, I know this one. <sighs> Third. Honestly, those are the only two I can think of. Two albums that I love every single song and I can continue to, to listen to them. Um, Team Edward or Team Jacob? I love this question. Team Edward for life. For life. I love Twilight. It's almost time for me to watch Twilight. Um, the first one is my favorite. Favorite genre of food? Uh, that one is so hard. I love all types of food, but I would probably say Asian. Are you planning on getting a 3DO? Um, yeah, that's the goal. I want one so bad. I love watching ear cupping uh, 3DO videos. Oh my god, it's so good. What made you want to be a CNA? Um, like I said, um, it was just to test it out and see if I would like it. Um, I feel very fulfilled for the time that I've been a CNA. I feel really, I've learned so much about just humans. We are all the same, you guys. We are all the same at our very core. Um, I've also seen a lot of things that not many people have. Like, I've changed many, many diapers. I help people to the bathroom. I help people who can't move their body. I've fed people. Like, I have witnessed so much. I'm so grateful for all the time that I spent, like, in the hospital working the shifts. Like, I feel so grateful that I was able to be there. Um, I'm very glad that I became a CNA. Although, it's been very hard for my mental health, for sure. Because being, like, I became a CNA when I was 23, and like being 23 to 26 and like having to take care of people. You know, it kind of felt like I sacrificed my youth a bit, um, but honestly, I don't mind. I do not regret being a CNA. Top three songs at the moment, Jump by Tyla. Uh, It's the only one I get right now, sorry. Um, dream ASMR setup. Honestly, something like this, um, but just like with really cozy lighting. I like doing ASMR on the ground, but like a dream setup would just be like on the ground, nice and cozy, maybe like a bed with the um, like the princess drape thing, you know what I'm talking about? Um, but just something super cozy and definitely on the ground. Um, I don't like videos that are too like high production so i do want to keep it just like real as real as possible 
favorite triggers are hard, plucking, face touching, face brushing, hand sounds, hand movements. Least favorite, mic scratching, mouth sounds. If you were stranded on a desert island, what five items would you have to bring with you in order to survive and not go insane? Um, number one, my boyfriend. Um, I feel like we could keep each other entertained, um, forever. Um, two, probably mascara. <laughs> mascara. Three, endless supply of dessert, for sure. Um, four, on an island, I'm not going crazy. <clears throat> probably a dog. A dog. Um, in a shower. I don't know. <laughs> Is there a video you are especially proud of? Um, I feel like I haven't really made a video that I'm actually, I am very proud of my Q&A for a thousand subscribers because that was the first time that I really opened up and, um, yeah. I enjoyed that. I will link that right here if you want to go watch my 1K Q&A. Um, but I have a lot of videos that I'm working on that I feel like I will be very proud of. And I hope, I feel like I'm going to be proud of this video. I like this video so far. Um, you've been very open about sharing your life. Do you have any reservations about discussing your life as your channel continues to grow? This is something that I am recently discovering is that I have to be careful how much I share because there are people on the internet whose intentions aren't always good. Um, also, things can get taken out of context. I had a situation that, um, no, no bad feelings towards them, um, but it was like an eye-opening lesson for me. I had posted something without like very little context and someone jumped to conclusions like extremely quickly um and it really upset me that like someone would make such crazy assumptions so quickly um and so since then i've been kind of afraid to like share things with you guys i'm gonna be honest i'm just trying to learn like what's appropriate and like what's not and um yeah but definitely um am having some reservations about uh, discussing my life um, yeah, just still trying to learn my boundaries. But I love sharing with you guys. Besides being with your family, what's the most exciting thing you want to experience being apart while in Japan? Um, oh my god, these birds. Oh, please stop. Um, um, this person is from Patreon, and I am saying that I am planning to move to Japan next year. Um, I just want to get back to my and my culture, I became really out of touch with myself. Um, uh, growing up in Japan and then moving to America, like America is so crazy, you guys. Um, so I just want to get back to nature and family and yeah, Japan is just so much better. I'm sorry. Mm. But yeah, just nature, honestly worst job you've ever had um being a server at a breakfast restaurant <laughs> that was a nightmare see now that's a whole other video what kind of content would you like to make but haven't yet um more role play videos more role play videos um like some yapping sessions just talking chatting um day in my life like self-improvement videos if you could turn into any animal for 24 hours, would it, what would it be and why? Um, probably a giraffe, because they're so sick. I love giraffes. Do you play Dragon Ball Legends? I have no idea what that is. I don't. Um, do you dabble with art? If so, what's your favorite mediums? I love water, watercolor at the moment. That's cool. Um, I haven't really tried with watercolor yet. Um, I'm just now getting back into art. And so far, all I really have is um, acrylics acrylic paint wow there's no one here i'm getting a little scared um acrylic paint um, and just like canvas painting with acrylic the camera looks a lot brighter than it is it's like dark 
favorite uh, show growing up, Spongebob. If you could live in a certain time period solely for the fashion of the era, era was, what would it be? Probably the Renaissance era. I would love wearing dresses and like big puffy like shoulders and flowy dresses. Um, I would love to be put in a giant ball gown and like a tight corset. Like that's a dream. Definitely the Renaissance era. Do you watch anime? Yes. And if so, what's your favorite? Attack on Titan and Death Note. Favorite Powerpuff Girl, the pink one. Favorite anime and video game. So yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely Demon Slayer. I mean, yeah, Demon Slayer too, but uh, I would say Death Note is my number one. Attack on Titan being second. Oh, video game. The only time I've ever really played video games was um, during COVID. I got a Switch and I played Animal Crossing for like three months straight, all day, every day. And then also Luigi's Mansion 3. I think it was 3. If I could go back in time and erase me playing that uh, game from my memory and restart it, I would because that game is so good. I no longer have a Switch, uh, but eventually I would love to do streaming and like playing games with you guys. How fun is that? Um, unfortunately, this is my living situation is just like not it right now. Um, but once I move finally and like figure shit out, um, then I can stream, and that'd be really fun. Maybe we can play Luigi's Mansion. Um, did you fall from heaven? Yes, I did, actually. I kind of, like, twisted my ankle when I fell, but I'm good now. What do you do to cheer you up? Um, eat sugar. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to practice better coping skills. <laughs> What's your favorite ASMR type, lo-fi, and like fast and aggressive? If you won the lottery tomorrow, what is the first purchase you would splurge on yourself and why? Um, the first thing that comes up is Crab Hut. I'm taking me, all my friends, every friend that I've ever met in my entire life, we're going to Crab Hut. Bring your friends, bring your family, we're going to Crab Hut. Oh, um, like Crab Boil. Crab Hut's just the one that we have around here. But any sort of Crab Boil. Favorite cheese, goat cheese. Favorite song, oh, it's too hard. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe Higher by Rihanna. Higher by Rihanna, that one's so good. Look it up, Higher. Favorite type of music, Airbnb. Favorite artist, uh, this one's hard because I love all types of music. Rap, pop, everyone, obviously. I love all music. <laughs> I have a very diverse uh, Spotify likes are you planning on doing more giveaways i would love to try and win a totoro art piece absolutely it's all gonna be like handmade stuff though like um artwork i would want to like when i did my first giveaway um the person that i gave it to that was so fun that was so fun what a cool feeling to like get the message that they received it and like to see the picture of them like seeing it with their eyes how cool that was so fun i loved it yes have you ever been to france no i have how many stuffed animals do you own? Not that many. 50 was the only one I had for a long time, but um, I did get um, quite a few sent to me. So at this point, maybe like eight or 10. If you could be a fruit, what would you be and why? Raspberries, I guess. I'm not sure. I love raspberries. Are you? Ah, whoa, I just glitched. Um, raspberries, because they're pretty and they taste good. Um, favorite color, like, if I were to choose between, like, a pen, I would ch always choose the pink pen, but, like, in terms of, like, clothing and stuff, like, I like, like, deep red, sage green, like, cream. I also like the color brown, but, like, it always depends on, like, what. Okay, you guys have to speed this up. What kind of roleplay videos do you want to do? Haircut, bullying you, a uh, girl in the class, uh, you know, just everything. <laughs> Would you be open to doing cosplay? I'm gonna be honest, I always thought cosplay was weird, but yes, I am open-minded now. And I would love to do that. Do you believe in soulmates? Yes, I do. We are all meant to be in each other's lives for a reason. We don't just meet people randomly. Favorite sh TV show to watch? Shit's Creek, hands down. Favorite sport to watch? Probably baseball. I don't watch a lot of sports. And to play? I've played sports in a long time, but I'm really 
if you want to play tennis and pickleball. Uh, favorite chicken nugget sauce? Any sort of like aioli. <laughs> what color are your eyes? My eyes are hazel. Thoughts on male pattern baldness? I've been waiting for someone to ask me this. I support male pattern baldness because my dad was bald. Um, and yeah, being bald is cool. If you are suffering from male pattern, male pattern baldness, just know that you're sick, you're cool, looks awesome, and I support it. Sleepy Zab loves male pattern baldness. What's the meaning of life to you? Like I said earlier, basically just being the best version of yourself and trying to reach your fullest potential. And to just kind of like accept this weird experience that we're all living like what the fuck is life like just let's just vibe out <laughs> favorite animal dogs but like some like unique favorite animal dogs 1000 percent, but also like a cool animal um giraffes and also gorillas gorillas are so crazy you guys gorillas are so cool i would love to have a conversation with someone else who knows a lot about gorillas or are very intrigued by gorillas Maybe I'll do an ASMR gorilla facts one day. Gorillas are so cool. Um, will 50 ever return? 50 stays. Wherever I go, wherever I go, 50 is coming with me. Do you have any hobbies? Thank you for asking this question because I'm actually trying really hard to like make new hobbies. Um, right now, definitely the gym. Um, I'm like stretching, meditating, art. Um, I tried rock climbing. I'm also going to take a heels class, you guys. Like, dancing. Um, I didn't realize I could dance so good. <laughs> I'm going to do a heels class, so that's, like, really fun. Maybe that will be my new hobby. Do you listen to rap? Yes, I do. Do you watch One Piece? No, I don't. Do you believe in man and woman friendship? Mm, debatable. Did you go to college? Yes, I graduated from San Jose State University 2022 with a uh, Bachelor's of Science in Public. Can I have the sloth? No, I'm sorry. He's gonna be three million dollars. What are the little things that make you happy? Um, when my dessert just freaking hits. Um, sunny days. Uh, seeing other people like smile genuinely. I don't know. <laughs> Do you play any sports? When I was in high school, um, I was on the swim team, water polo team, and field hockey. When I was a kid, um, I was a swimmer my whole childhood. Um, played tennis volleyball, uh, synchronized swimming, uh, taekwondo, kickboxing, uh, badminton. I played a lot of sports when I was a kid. What's 9 plus 10? 19, I think. You guys, that's all the questions. Thank you so much. Um, when I did my, if you want to watch my 1k video, go ahead and watch that. I love that video. Wow, I'm starting to look a little scary. Um, Guys, I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie, but I really enjoyed this. I'm so glad this worked out. I really hope the audio is okay. I hope everything is just good because this was really fun. Okay, wait, before I go, let's try the Nutella ones. I got Nutella ones. These are, it's a bunny. Thank you so much for all these questions, you guys. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. You guys, I gotta go. It's not safe here. <laughs> I mean, not safe for a woman to be sitting out with all these valuables in the middle of a park at night time. Go for my face. Thank you so much you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you this was so much fun i appreciate every single person that asked me a question for everyone that watches thank you for letting me share a little bit about myself with you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i love you guys i love you guys so much thank you for 25k thank you to each and every single one of you thank you you 
for making all the hard work and all the stress and the, the stress, but like, at first it was stressful starting this channel. All the fear that I, I pushed through. Thank you. You are making it all worth it. Um, all of that was, wasn't for nothing, so thank you. Okay, you guys, I love you. Sleep tight. I hope you have a wonderful night.